Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are going to be painting some dead with me. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Hope you all are having a super fantastic day. Thank you to everybody who has been subscribing and everybody who have been with me for the long haul. This has been a very long journey uh, for me specifically because I think what in May it'll be two years on YouTube but June will be four years total for me but anywho, it's a long time y'all long time so I know I look like death on a holiday but um I am exhausted <laughs> and it's not a bad thing you know I'm working hard taking care of the stuff I need to take care of at work and so no complaints from me for that one of the hide those messages because we've seen them now my current balance for my student loans is $35,437.38 so we're going to be paying something on all of my loans today if you saw my paycheck number one video, but you didn't see my uh, closeout for my cash envelopes, I was actually able to save $94 instead of just the 60. That is my minimum per month. So I budgeted $571.62. So I'm going to add $34 to that. And so I'm going to be paying um, $605.62 to Q16. So I am going to, where are we going to go? We're going to go to loan details because I'm paying on all of them. So I'm going to go to payments and billing. And I think I'm going to pay something on all of them every paycheck. And so we're going to make a one-time payment. And so it's going to be... 80, 80, 130, and then whatever's left is a snowball amount for uh, the loan I'm trying to pay off. And then next paycheck is just going to be $100. That's going to go to the other three. And of course, anything I earn on YouTube, after I take out the taxes, any savings I need to do for my P.O. box or editing software or whatever, um, and giveaways, the remaining amount is going to go straight to the student loan that I'm going to snowball at that time, which is Q16 right now. And so if you see my screen, you see that this dark blue represents what screen I'm on. And this is pay all loans. When you do this, they take the money and they split it up across all of your outstanding loans. Since I have multiple I'm going to target specific loans so that way I get to determine how my money is split up and not them. So here we go. So the first one on deck is T20. And so I am going to put $130. Now, why did I just hit that two? <laughs> um $130 on that one. And so for S13, I'm putting 80 on that one. And then for, no, yeah, R18. Sometimes I surprise myself when I actually get the letters right. Then I'll try to correct myself, but I was right the first time. Boom. Um, so I'm going to put $80 on that one. And then for... Fat loan Q16. I'm going to pay 605.62. So there, I'm going to tab and make sure my total payment is 895.62, and that matches up with what I wrote down. So I like to make sure what I write down is right. As y'all know, the math, I'll be struggling. So yeah, 895.62. That's what we have there. And so today is Saturday. Let me scroll myself right on down. 
Um, today is the 6th. So I'm going to put the payment in for today. It'll take a few days before it processes. And I am going to make a payment on that loan. Okay, we are on my confirmation page. So this has been emailed to me. So I'm going to return to my account summary. I like to make sure that my payment is showing processing on the home page. So yeah, there it is. It's in the manage payment section. Um, it'll the status that allow me to cancel the payment. So like, let's say I'm not sure. Um, and I can go in and cancel this, but probably by Monday, it'll switch to in processing or something like that. So I want to look at my loan details. Just to make sure everything's okay here. Two, so that looks right. But yeah, all of these last four loans, they're all at the same interest rate, which is 6.55 once they start accruing interest. My goal is to get the smallest three. So that's Q16, R18, and S13 paid off by the time interest starts back up. That has been my goal since... I said this last year, even though I didn't know we weren't going to be accruing interest right now. And hopefully, well, I'm not going to say hopefully. We, I will get this one to, I want to at least get it down to like by 13000 by the time we start accruing interest. 13000 or less. That's my goal there because that drastically reduces the amount of interest. Ever since we've gone to the 0% interest, I have saved a lot of money. I think I was over 300 and something dollars in interest last year. And so the more I can get paid off now, the better off I am. And so you'll see that my payment today will at least get Q18 under $8,000. And then S13... And T20, they're going to be dropping down too. So they're going to slowly reduce some because I'm planning on putting every month until I snowball that particular loan. So like R18, it's going to be $100. Uh, S13, it's going to be $100. And then T20, it's going to be $190 since that's the biggest one. But yeah, I just want to see the numbers change a little bit and, and just see the movement because this does make me feel better as far as like when I'm looking at these. Um, and oh, I'm trying to remember something somebody brought up, brought to my attention and I can't remember for the life of me right now. But um, yeah, a lot of my student loans have capitalized interest on them. So when I do find that the amount that I owe in principle is less than the original balance, it does catch me off guard sometimes because I don't necessarily track that here on the paperwork that I actually look at all the time. I do have some paperwork um, on my bookshelf that I'll pull out every once in a while. So when it changes, you will see me look surprised because I'm super, super happy to have that balance below what I originally borrowed. And so that's going to be super, super nice. But yeah, that's one of the warnings I always say on my channel is to be careful of the capitalized interest. Do what you can to avoid it because it is a booger bear to what you end up paying back versus what you borrowed to begin with so but anywho that is done and i am so so happy thank y'all for watching thank y'all for watching the ads i'm sorry if they're still showing y'all those super super long ads that is not me <laughs> i wish i could control that um, i know that's annoying but thank y'all for your support i do appreciate it and let me know how you guys are doing have you made your first debt payment of the month? Because this is my first one. Woohoo! And so we're hoping for lower utility bills from this point on out. Um, but yeah, let me know how everything's going with you. And I will talk to you guys again on Thursday. I believe on Thursday, I may be budgeting 
my second paycheck for the month? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that, okay? <laughs> but y'all have a super fantastic day. And I will talk to y'all later. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please subscribe below. Bye.